Hello and welcome back to Heiner Builds Your Ride. We have got a 300 series in here today. We've done not a lot, but there's a new product in here that we're very excited about. It's the next evolution step from a battery box. It's the power station. But first roll the intro. One of the very first things you'll notice is that we put spotties on here. It came from factory with a light bar in there already. So we've used the existing wiring, we added spotties to that, we added another switch in the cap, but we've done a few things more in here. So if we have a look in the back here, this is where 300 series has got its battery. You will see that we have added a Red Arc SBI-12 in here because we added an Anderson plug to the back of the vehicle. We use this so we turn the Anderson plug on and off. So when the engine runs, the Anderson plug turns on, gets power at the back of the vehicle and that way as soon as the engine runs, the DC-DC charger in the caravan kicks in and you can use the ignition trigger input connected to battery positive and the DC-DC charger will not use its voltage sensing settings. That way you can overcome voltage drop when charging a caravan. You'll also see that we've put a twin MIDI fuse holder in there. One is for the SBI-12, the other one is a supply to the back to the power station for the DC-DC charger that is on the power station. That is it under the bonnet already. I'll put the cover back on. Almost a shame because you can't see all the nice electrics underneath there. Have a look in the cap here. By the way, this is where we're already building the next power station. It will be on the four-wheel drive show, which is probably over by now. This is it, our new power station. Put into the back of this 300 series here. This has got a 200 amp hour lithium battery in it. We've got a 40 amp Red Arc DC-DC charger on the back. This is powder coated aluminium housing. You've got the same front on it that you've got on the old battery box that we did. This is the exact same front panel where you got your twin USB. You've got your angle socket for your fridge. You've got your accessory socket for fridge or whatever else you might find. And you've got a Heller Merit plug that you can use for National Lunar fridges or whatever else you have got with a Heller Merit plug. And then you've got your three gray Anderson plugs and one red Anderson plug. And in case you want to use this in a vehicle with a smart alternator, you can use this connector on the front here to connect an ignition trigger, which will then work with the DC-DC charger on the back. Let me show you. This here is the back of this box. Looks very familiar to the one that we did before, but this is a 40 amp charger. You've got your solar input here to connect the solar blanket. And this is still quite portable. It weighs just over 20 kilograms, but we have got an attachment for this. So you can mount a 2000 watt inverter on top of this if you want to, which will enable you to do induction cooking wherever you are. So we've installed a charge harness into the vehicle here. This is the cable that's running from the front MIDI fuse. And all you need to do to take the power station out of your vehicle is disconnect the charge plug. And now you can just take it out. Put it in your shed, put it on your deck, in your boat, in your tent, wherever you want to run your fridge. And then to put it back into your car, all you need to do is just put the charge cable back into the back here. As you can see, this is a bit special. There's an extra fuse on there. This fuse is for the National Lunar Light that we put on the tailgate. So you've got orange light here with three dimming stages. And if you hold your finger on it for a bit longer, it changes to white, which will light up the campsite nice and bright. Or 
nice and dim, depends on what you want to do. This cable here tucks completely away, so when you haven't got the power station in your vehicle, you unplug it, you put the cover behind the panel, and you can put the vent cover back in. That way you can't even see that anything has been installed into the vehicle. The customer didn't want this mounted, he said he'll mount it himself. Another add-on that he wanted is a 500 watt inverter from Victron for charging. All you need to do to run this is to plug it into one of the Anderson plugs on the front of the box. You turn it on and then you can either put it on top of the box or next to it. And this will be good enough to charge power tools. You can even run a milk frother off that if you want to. And you'll be able to run it for quite some time because you got 200 amp hours of lithium power in this. The last thing you can see here is, we, this is where we put the Anderson plug to charge the, the trailer that's being towed with this vehicle. So when the caravan or camper trailer gets plugged in, as soon as the engine runs, the power turns on and that will deliver power to the trailer and the DC-DC charger kicks in and charges the battery in there. So this makes for a very compact and very flexible power system in this vehicle. Can be completely removed for everyday use and then when you go camping, you put the power station in, you've got your inverter, the caravan is charging, you got lights in the back here. What a great setup. That only leaves one thing to do for us. Give it our patch of approval. This one here is now ready to drive anywhere. Thanks and see you for the next one.